So you want to start with the seam up on the bag and push a little frosting to the end and take a little tiny snip. The smaller, the better. You can always cut it a little bit more and then pick those up and put them in your trash pile. And you're going to start with the bag straight up and down. And I use my other finger to guide. So you're going to go around. Nice and slow. And the next go around is right next to that line. Use the end of the bag to fill in. And then you're just going to go in small little areas and fill in. Small areas, don't worry about that. It's going to slowly start to settle. Small areas, start up here. And this is what we call damming and flooding. So you create a dam on the outside and then you flood. You can see that area is starting to settle already. And we're looking good here. This takes a little bit of time. And then I'll put my bag down. And I do have a scribe, but the first thing I'm going to do with this cookie is what I call just dropping it and getting that frosting to settle. So just give it some taps and you'll slowly start to see the frosting is settling. Next thing we want to do is put the stem on. So again, seam to the sky. I hope you can see that little seam that's right there in the bag. Again, keep it flat on the table. Give a little snip, get ready to trash, and then we're going to go in. Remember, I'm holding straight up and down. This frosting's a little thicker, so I can go in and I can get my stem and put that over here. And then this one's going to go off to dry. There's some detail on it after. And we have um, our pencil and our ruler. So those are going to get flooded also with the golden yellow and seam to the sky. Cut off your little tip, get rid of your trash. And you wanna think about your pencil. You're going to have your eraser. You're gonna have the metal on the, your pencil. You're gonna have the tip. So it's just this area right here that we want to do the golden yellow. We'll come in here and remember after you dam you just go around the edge that first time around is really important and then just do small sections you can wiggle the bag it helps the frosting settle the little hole there you just go and touch it in And I'm going to do the same thing I did to the apple. Just give it a little tap. See all that settle down. And if you did get some air bubbles or a little part you didn't like, you can just work it a little, but you don't want to overwork the frosting. You just want to give that a little tap nice and smooth. So right away, I'm going to go in with my wood color. Again, seam to the sky, cut a little bit. And this is also a thinner frosting, just like the um, red and the golden yellow. And I'm going to go into the yellow a little here and fill that in. You can see this is even a little thinner. And then right away, I'm going to go in with my scribe, make sure you clean it off, and just pull down just a little. 
to make that pencil look even more look realistic. Pull it down just a little. And then we already have our black open. And to clean the tip, you just squeeze with a paper towel, get a nice clean tip, and then open it back up. A little frosting. And we'll just put our little tip on the end of our pencil. And this technique is what we call wet on wet. And those, those um, textures will just blend in and make one even texture. All right, and then we'll, um, at this point also, we can do our pink for our eraser. So pink um, the seams of the sky, cut, get rid of the trash, and we'll do our eraser. right if this racer has a little bit of texture so I'm just going to work this frosting a little bit sometimes when you work it like that it gets a little aggravated and we'll set this off to dry and this is our ruler Set up the dam and then go around. And then work in small sections. that dry a little bit and we, have, we would do the same for the other ruler and obviously the same for the other pencil so let's pull down the paintbrush and we have lots of green for our paintbrush we can use that seam to the sky cut off a little trash and we'll do the paint on this paintbrush. We're going to go along the lines here. And this is flooding. Make those point a little pointier. And we can always go back when this dries and give it a little bit of detail. We'll do our brush handle. Again, it's the same procedure every time. Set up the dam and then go around one time. Setting a fan up off to the side. I always say a good 10 to 12 feet away is a good idea. And you can run your cookies over to the fan. This black is thicker, remember, because we're using it for detail, so it gives a nice little texture on the brush handle. Clean that tip off before I put this down. And we'll set that off to dry. Everything's looking pretty good. Apple's drying nicely. Ruler's drying and let's um, work on this star. So now that we have all of our colors, all kind of sitting over here on a tray, it's, um, it's fun when you have a shape like the heart and the star to just really do whatever you'd like to do. Um, one of the things that some people like to do is they like to um, outline in one color and flood in the other color. So again, when you're Holding the bag, you want to go straight up and down, although it doesn't really seem natural to people when they first start out cookie decorating. And remember, you can always spin the cookie 
which I like to do on a heart because I like to work up. I like to pull up as I decorate. You'll notice that you have um, certain techniques. So you could let that dry at that point. Um, or, you know, you could do something really fun and start, you know, with a circle in the middle and just keep working out your colors. Oh, there's a dirty tip there. Not dirty, but it's, it's kind of caked up. So I always keep a, a damp paper towel on the side. And this is great practice for lining. And you'll see what we're going to get going here. So I always clean my tip off and then I do a little bit of a tie dye. And like I said, it's really good practice. Go in with your yellow. This is one way to make a tutorial last forever, right? Something soothing about watching people decorate cookies and something soothing about decorating cookies yourself. And go in there with some red. I'm trying to get as close as I can, but there's a lot of frosting here and we're going to do a drag technique to make some tie-dye here. Everybody loves tie-dye. And it's fun if you ever have a cookie that things don't go that well with the cookie. Always pull out your technique of tie-dye and it will still taste the same. I always promise people. No matter who decorates these cookies, they are all going to taste the same. They're all going to have a buttery flavor. They're all going to have the uh, slight almond flavor. There is almond extract in the cookies. There we go. I'm just gonna go in and put in a little, yet, a little of the green. I feel like there wasn't enough green there. Okay. Now let's see if we can work the magic. So we have the scribe and we're going to pull out. This is a fun way to use up your colors. Pull out. And set the scribe down. We'll do the tap tap method. And so we were pulling out and now we're going to pull in towards the middle. So we set that off to dry. All right, so we're looking good. And you could do something just um, as similar with the um, star. You can have fun with that. Outline, flood, fill different sections. Um, an old version we used to do is um, with the yellow on the star, and then we would put a smiley face on the star with maybe some pink cheeks. And um, that always is a happy um, little cookie there. So let me wrap these up. I'm going to put some detail on here, some detail on here. So I'm going to go in with the um, black for the pencil. And because this is thicker, I'm gonna just kind of guide and open that tip up. And I'm just gonna go along and make some lines, just like you would have on the bottom of the pencil, the metal. Maybe just some zigzags. And notice that frosting will stay because it's a thicker consistency. So maybe some more zigzags, another line. These are great cookies to practice your basics on. Another line. Okay, so I'm happy with our pencil. That, oops, that's done. And move that out of the way. And our um, paintbrush, just gonna go in with our paintbrush and do a little handle on the paintbrush. 
and we can go back in with the green and give a little detail. Make it look like that paintbrush just got dipped in. All right, so that's a fun one. And grab the apple and do a little detail on the apple. So I'm thinking some uh, leaves. So again, you can turn the cookie any way you want when you're decorating. I'm just gonna clean the tip off over here on the side. And I'm thinking about my leaf. So I'm gonna pull towards me here. And just think about that shape of that leaf right there for the apple. Go in and use my scribe to just make a little bit more of a point. And then I'll think about my other leaf coming down and around. And then obviously we could go back in, the, in with the black and we could write someone's name on this. You could get brave and maybe do some kind of vine. Get you ready for pumpkin season. Pumpkins have those beautiful vines. Um, so that's really fun. And these cookies are going to sit out overnight and I would wait until the next day if I was going to put them in bags or something like that. And then I wanna think about my ruler. So again, clean my tip. This frosting is a little bit thicker. So get that tip open. Start here with my zero. And I don't know how exact I want this um, ruler to be, so why don't I do this? Do a one, and I'll come down here and do a two. Put my halfway mark, halfway mark. I am a math teacher, so you know I have to talk fractions now. So my quarters, and then I think, is there room for one more quarter down here maybe? All right, and there's my ruler. So just a little demonstration of how you could decorate the cookies, a little talk about technique and cutting the bags. Um, there's still four more cookies over here that need to be decorated. And there's still, as you can see, I have my little setup over here, uh, over to the side with my bags. There's plenty of frosting that comes with this kit. So after you're done decorating the um, cookies, what do we have four, we have nine cookies. Um, you could um, make some more dough yourself or maybe get some of the pre-packaged dough. Um, or you can take these and you can put them right into the freezer. I would put them in a big Ziploc bag and I would um, put them in the freezer and just remember then they would thaw. And the same way when you started the kit, you hold the end of the bag and you um, massage the frosting um, to get it started. All right, so good luck and thanks for tuning in.